Well, we're in Monaco. Obviously, extremely happy to, uh, to be back racing in, uh, in those streets. Almost every corner here has a story to tell, so to be able to come and race in these historic places, it's, it's awesome. Just the scenery, the atmosphere, the fans being here, it just makes it very exciting for us driver to, to race there. We have a little bit of catching up to do right now in terms of points, so um, you know the mentality right now is race by race, trying to do the best we can every weekend. Trying to leave this weekend knowing that we've done everything, and hopefully everything will be good enough for, for winning it. The most famous racetrack on the planet is looking towards the future as the incomparable streets of Monte Carlo host round six of the ABB FIA Formula E World Championship, the Monaco E Prix. Into the top 10, Antonio Felix da Costa, Jean-Eric Verne is the championship leader. We go green in Monaco. Evans leads, Verlein second. Third is Jean-Eric Verne in the back and gold DS to Gita. Here comes to Costa, he is going past Oliver Askew. So Freitz, Roland and Dennis all activate attack mode. Did DaCosta get past all of them? No. Freitz manages to keep the eighth place. Into attack mode goes Jean-Eric Vern. Vern could leave this race fairly soon if everybody is to take attack mode ahead of him. That's fair enough to fifth. Jean-Eric Byrne in fifth place. Degrassi is his next target just ahead. Ah, there he goes, Jean-Eric Byrne. Textbook overtaking maneuver. Byrne goes through. So Jean-Eric Byrne takes the lead, but he's going to have his work cut out now to keep everybody else behind. Evans to the outside. Can Byrne hold him off? No, Evans gets through. Evans in second, Byrne third. Freitz in fourth. Fifth for the Costa. 